October 8th, the synaxis of Michael the chief commander and of the other bodiless hosts. All the angels, according to the Apostle Paul, are ministering spirits sent forth to minister to them that shall be heirs of salvation. God set them as overseers of every nation and people, and guides to that which is profitable. And while one angel is appointed to oversee each nation as a whole, one is also appointed to protect each Christian individually. He commands them to guard them that hope on him, that nothing should harm them, neither should any evil draw nigh to their dwelling. In the heavens they always behold the face of God, sending up to him the thrice holy hymn and interceding with him in our behalf, seeing they rejoice over one sinner that repents. In a word, they have served God in so many ways for our benefit that the pages of Holy Scripture are filled with the histories of them. It is for these reasons that the Orthodox Catholic Church, wisely honoring these divine ministers, our protectors and guardians, celebrates today the present synaxis, that is, our coming together in assembly for their common feast to chant their praises, especially for the holy archangels Michael and Gabriel, who are mentioned in the scriptures by name. The name Michael means who is like God, and Gabriel means God is mighty. The number of angels is not defined in the divine scriptures, where Daniel says that thousands of thousands ministered before him and ten thousands of ten thousands attended upon him. But all of them are divided into nine orders, which are called thrones, cherubim, seraphim, dominions, powers, authorities, principalities, archangels, and angels. Blessed is our God, always known for the good years of creation. Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, O comforter, the spirit of truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Supreme Commanders of the hosts of the heavens, we the unworthy importune and beseech you that by your supplications ye encircle us in the shelter of the wings of your immaterial glory, guarding us who now fall down and cry to you with fervor. Deliver us from dangers of all kinds, as the great marshals of the heavenly hosts on high. O ye people, let us send up a hymn unto our wondrous God, who freed Israel from bondage, singing and crying out to him a victory unto thee, who alone art master. Holy archangels Michael and Gabriel, pray to God for us. O ye faithful, let us all sing the praises of the uncreated Trinity, who governs all the immaterial order of the choirs on high. 
which cry out, Holy, Holy, Holy art thou, O God Almighty. Holy archangels Michael and Gabriel pray to God for us. O Creator, thou beganest the work of thy creation with the essence of the incorporeal angels surrounding thine immaculate throne, that they might cry to thee, Holy, Holy, Holy art thou, O God Almighty. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Rejoice, O Gabriel, instructor of the mystery of God's incarnation, and thou, O Michael, leader of the immaterial orders, who ceaselessly cry out, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God Almighty. Both now and forever to the ages of ages, Amen. Eve, our first mother, by transgression, once subjected the race of men to the curse. But thou, O virgin bride of God, by giving birth to the Creator, hast conveyed the entire race to a blessed state. Plant thou the fear of thee in the heart of thy servants, O Lord, and be thou the confirmation of us, who call upon thee in truth. O holy archangels Michael and Gabriel, pray to God for us. O immortal one, thou hast established a might in strength to accomplish thine own holy will, ever standing before thee in the highest. O holy archangels Michael and Gabriel, pray to God for us. Receive, O Christ, those initiates of thine incarnation and august arising, the exarchs of the angels, as they are invoked in our behalf. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Since thou art compassionate, O Christ, thou hast appointed angels as guardians for man, and hast shown them to be ministers at thy servant's salvation. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Bride of God, thou didst ineffably conceive the Lord Saviour, who delivers from adversities us who call on thee in truth. Since we on earth long to praise the choirs of angels, let us then imitate their holiness and virtues, to the best of our powers, bravely mortifying our fleshly and carnal members, and let us ask the angel Joes as our defenders and champions to redeem from the fraudulence of the invisible foe a sinners who now sing their praise that we find mercy for our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thanking thee always, O all-pure Theotokos, thou full of grace, we magnify and offer worship to the child that thou bearest, and we sing his praises. Without cease we cry, O Virgin, since thou art good, come save us, O all-compassionate Bride of God, at the dread hour of reckoning, and from the demon's dark grasp and inquisition rescue us, lest thy servants be put to shame. Thou didst mount thy steeds, thine apostles, O Lord, and didst take their bridles in thy hands, and thy chariot has become salvation for those who chant with faith. Glory to thy power, O Lord. O holy archangels Michael and Gabriel, pray to God for us. Thou hast mounted on angels as on horses, O friend of man. Thou hast taken their reins in thy hands, and thy horsemanship is become salvation for them that ceaselessly cry, Glory to thy power, O Lord. O holy archangels Michael and Gabriel, pray to God for us. Thy virtue covers the angels, O friend of man, and the ends of the earth have been filled with thy glorious divine praise. O thou who art without beginning, as the earth cries out with the angels, 
Glory to thy power, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou art come forth for the salvation of thy people, O compassionate Christ. And thou callest together thy friends, the powers, and thy advent is become gladness for them that cry to thee with faith. Glory to thy power, O Lord. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou hast proved to be virgin and mother in a manner above nature, O all pure one, since thou hast given birth to Christ, who is both God himself and man, to whom the angels' orders cry with fear. Glory to thy power, O Lord. Going before me with the light of thy knowledge, O Lord, out of the night of ignorance to the path of thy commandments do thou lead me, whoever stray toward the soul-destroying way. Holy archangels Michael and Gabriel, pray to God for us. Born up by unwavering longing ever upward unto thee, O Christ, the highest pinnacle of all that can be desired, the angelic host glorify thee without ceasing. Holy archangels Michael and Gabriel, pray to God for us. Thou hast appointed the angels whom thou madest after thine own image to him thy majesty, O Christ, to be noetic by essence and incorruptible by thy grace, O thou who art incomprehensible. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Through their nearness to thee, O Christ, thou hast preserved thy ministers from inclination toward the worse. For being the wellspring of goodness, thou makest them to be good that worthily worship thee. Both now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. O only Virgin, after giving birth, pure and immaculate Mary, who has no experience of wedlock, bring us to moor in thy haven, guiding us out of dangers towards everlasting salvation. Thou didst cause Jonah to sojourn alone with the sea monster, O Lord. Save me who am caught in the net of the enemy, as thou didst save him from corruption. O holy archangels Michael and Gabriel, pray to God for us. With thine divine magnificence, thou, O Lord, by thy word brought into being out of nothing, the essences of the immortal armies of heaven, making them like unto light. O holy archangels Michael and Gabriel, pray to God for us. Worthily serving the Creator, O O incorporeals, you are become worshipful initiates of God's praise and citizens of the celestial and truly divine tabernacle. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The noetic orders of incorporeal powers ceaselessly praise and glorify thee as the maker and creator of all, O Son of God, before all eternity. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O pure and immaculate Virgin, who was accounted worthy to have reclining in thine arms him that without beginning sits in the highest with the Father, grant that he be gracious to us, thy servants. Supreme Commanders of God and ministers of the divine glory, guides of men and leaders of the bodiless hosts, ask for what is to our profit and for great mercy, since ye are supreme commanders of the bodiless hosts. In thy scriptures, O immortal friend of man, thou hast said that a multitude of angels rejoices over only one man that repents. Wherefore, we who lie in iniquity venture daily to beseech thee who art without sin, who alone knowest the heart, to have mercy on us since thou art compassionate, and to send compunction down upon us unworthy as we are, granting us forgiveness, O Master, for they intercede for us all since they are supreme commanders of the bodiless hosts. Since they are supreme commanders of the bodiless hosts. In the furnace the Hebrew children boldly throw the flame on the foot and transform the fire into dew, crying out, 
Blessed are thou, O Lord God, forever. O holy archangels Michael and Gabriel, pray to God for us. Ten thousands of ministering angels stand perpetually before him, the sight of whose face they are unable to endure, crying out, Blessed are thou, O Lord our God. O holy archangels Michael and Gabriel, pray to God for us. Thou, O compassionate Lord, hast shown the immaterial essence of thine angels to be lights always filled with ineffable light, crying out, Blessed are thou, O God, unto the ages. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Having made the multitude of the angels by thine unhypostatic word, and sanctified them by the Holy Spirit, O God, thou taughtst them to praise the Trinity as God, unto the ages. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Contemplating three hypostases, the Father, Son, and Spirit, we glorify an uncircumscribed essence, while crying out, Blessed art thou, O Lord, our God, unto the ages. The Lord God, who is glorified on the holy mountain and by the fire in the bush, revealed to Moses the mystery of the ever-Virgin. Hear me and exalt him supremely for all ages. Holy archangels Michael and Gabriel, pray to God for us. Let us emulate the angel's life, let us wing our minds to the heights, and with them in immaterial fashion let us sing the Lord's praises hymning and supremely exalting him unto all the ages. Holy archangels, Michael and Gabriel, pray to God for us. The angels, those celebrants of heaven's choir that attend upon the throne of glory, compassing God about at all times, praise and supremely exalt him unto the ages. We bless the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We worship the Trinity who makes them that ceaselessly minister in the height to be a flame of immaterial fire, and has shown the angels to be spirits, and we glorify him unto all the ages. Both now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Him whom ten thousands of angels and archangels compass with trembling in the vault of heaven, thou hast counted worthy to carry in thine arms. Intercede with him, O Theotokos, and save them that glorify him unto the ages. Thou didst transcend the laws of nature, conceiving the Creator and Lord, and didst become a portal of salvation for the world. Wherefore we magnify thee unceasingly, O Theotokos. O holy archangels Michael and Gabriel, pray to God for us. We magnify thee without ceasing, O Christ, who has ineffably united things on earth with those in heaven and has made one church of angels and men. O holy archangels Michael and Gabriel, pray to God for us. O angels and archangels, throne authorities and dominions, principalities and powers, cherubim and seraphim, together with the Theotokos, make entreaty in the world's behalf. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Michael and Gabriel, who are shown to be the protectors of all, visit them that honor your all festive memory with longing, and faithfully praise you with songs that they be saved from all manner of adversity. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou didst receive the beginningless word who will to refashion my nature, O virgin, and thou gavest birth to him incarnate. Wherefore, O Theotokos, we magnify thee without end. Our God and Maker showed thee forth, O Divine Chief Commander, as champion and governor of the race of us mortals, the noblest to of our good, and he also honored thee with the un-
unspeakable glory of unceasingly crying the divine and thrice holy and God inspired him of victory. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ, God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, and the prayers of his holy and all-pure Mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all-praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy and alive-giving cross of the Lord and all the holy, borderless powers of heaven, with the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes the great, Brandon the navigator, Oron of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Monwag, all the saints of all these islands, protectors of our monastery and our community. With the prayers of the synaxes of the archangels Michael and Gabriel and all the bodiless hosts of heaven. With the prayers of our fathers among the saints, St. C.B., St. Gervard, St. Morak of Scotland, St. Isilio of Wales, and all of those with them whose memory we keep this day. With the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. Heard the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.